Hi guys, welcome back. Today you are joining me doing my weekly watering and maintenance tasks as well as a monthly feeding. I'm going to be using a liquid fertilizer today. It's diluted already in this bucket and I'm going to be first of all feeding the plants from the bucket and then I will go on with fresh water from the tap. So initially what I'm going to be doing is filling up each of the bowls that you're going to see, the ones with under bowls and I will be making sure that they get overflowed and I'll leave that for a long time, sort of half an hour to 45 minutes so that the plant itself has enough time to feed. Uh, afterwards, if any of them still look a little bit thirsty, I'll go back and water them as I said. But my main goal here is just to make sure that the under bowls are overflowing. So my weekly tasks generally consist of watering. I will always start to water because it gets, gives me a chance to look over each plant. I will prune anybody that needs it, uh, make sure there's no damage to any foliage or anything like that. Any dead flowers I'll make sure I can get rid of at this point if I haven't already during the week. It's really important you also turn your plants regularly so you get even growth. Uh, I'll be checking for pests. You'll notice in this video that I do have um, a couple of plants that do have a couple of pests. So I will be checking and making sure that I get rid of those and start the process for getting rid of those. Um, I'll be polishing some leaves to make sure that they can photosynthesize clearly. And I'll also be checking for root growth to see if anybody needs any sort of repotting. So I've noticed that a couple of my plants have got some leaves that I can discard. They're either in the bottom of the pot, just gathering um, up, which prevents the soil from being able to sort of get watered accurately. You'll also get sort of rotting foliage under there. Um, and it's important that you keep that clear. I'm also checking the top growth, making sure we're growing evenly. And I will be going through checking which plants have got pest problems and making sure that those are ones that I monitor over the course of the next week until next week's watering. So this coffee plant has sustained quite a lot of damage and on top of it, it has also got quite a big pest problem. So first of all, I'm going to make sure I get rid of any brown leaves that I see. I'm going to be using my secateurs on this, so I'm getting my isopropyl and I'm giving the blades a quick rub down to make sure that any plant residue from any previous pruning is definitely off. Uh, so I'll make sure I only get rid of fully brown leaves. I don't want to leave any leaves that have a bit of green on them because they still have the opportunity to photosynthesize and when a plant is struggling and it's feeling a little bit weak the worst thing you can do is prevent it from photosynthesizing as much as possible. I've also moved its location as well so hopefully it will get a bit happy and it will bounce back. You can follow my Instagram to uh, follow its progress. So, at this point I've made a note of any plants I've noticed who, whose roots are growing from underneath the pot and I'm just going to be polishing the leaves while also doing some pest prevention. This is a solution of a tiny drop of washing up liquid mixed with water in a spray bottle. For larger leaves I'll just take a clean dishcloth and wipe down the surface of the leaves. It's great for appearance but it also promotes the plant health, it's good for photosynthesis and it is great for pest resistance. You know you don't stress your plant out because it's not struggling to try and get that sunlight. So for the smaller plants I'm just going to spray over it and I'll make sure to soak the soil with this solution as well in the plants that I know are definitely infested. But that is it, that's my whole weekly routine combined with a monthly fertilizing. Now I will do another video just going over the different types of fertilizers and things like that, but for now that's pretty much all I've got for you. Please leave any comments and questions and don't forget to go and visit me on my Instagram. Thanks a lot, bye!